There's no hotter team in the NFL than the 49ers. A six-game winning streak, and it's like it doesn't matter who the QB is. Brock Purdy balling out in the 35-7 route over the Bucks last Sunday. 185 yards and two TDs, but he did strain his oblique in the process and played through it for a good portion of the game. It all sets the scene for tonight in Seattle. San Francisco wins the NFC West crown with a dub. A little more on that win streak. They've outscored teams 172 to 64 during this six game heater. A note on that 29 team, 19 team. They made the Super Bowl, of course, lost 31 to 20 to the Chiefs. The 2011 edition, they lost in the NFC Championship. So we'll see what can happen from the 49ers this year. San Francisco in action tonight, so we bring in Mr. Worldwide. Don't even know what hotel he's in this time or what city Ryan Harris tapping in with on the mix. 49ers on a six-game win streak heading in almost, it seems, the complete opposite direction of the Seahawks. If they can stretch this win streak to seven tonight, the NFC West is theirs. What's impressed you the most during this current run of theirs? The resilience of this 49ers squad. I mean, they're on their third quarterback, who, oh, by the way, is injured himself. They've also had injuries to Debo Samuel now and multiple others. Look, Zach, almost every single position group has a starter out or on the IR. And still, Kyle Shanahan finds a way to win. Kyle Shanahan's the coach of the year over Nick Sirianni, in my opinion, and it's not even close. Between him, Fred Warner, and then, oh, by the way, Christian McCaffrey, they're still doing enough to get to the playoffs and, as you mentioned, possibly clinch the division? I mean, this is unreal. It has been a, a testament to the fortitude and character of those players in that locker room. And now they got the chance to put the cherry on top of it tonight against Seattle, where I'm at right now, Zach, you know, in case you want to turn on the radio tonight. I'll have to tap in with you. You see there um, during this six-game win streak for the 49ers, their defense has been giving it, getting it done. 17 or fewer points allowed during that win streak, first time since 1992. On the offensive side, though, for San Francisco, Brock Purdy dominant for the second straight week last Sunday. But you're concerned with his obliques tonight as well? Absolutely. He's, he has injuries to his obliques and his ribs. That makes it very tough when a quarterback wants to throw the ball specifically deep. Now, I, let's be clear. I haven't seen my obliques like Santa Claus for a thousand weeks, but Brock Purdy has been fantastic in his spell as quarterback for the 49ers. But being able to step into that throw, throw it downfield with accuracy, that's going to be an issue, especially against the defense and the Seahawks, who has as sticky fingers as those bad news bandits in home alone. So he's going against a tough defense with pain. And the good thing is Brock Purdy understands that. He says, oh, welcome to the NFL. That sounds all nice and different, but it's quite another story when you're on the field and you say to yourself, oh no, this injury is really gonna make me change my game. Few players can do that, veterans can do that. Brock Purdy's going to have to do it and do it on the road in the loudest stadium in the history of the world. And like you mentioned, he'll have to do it without Debo Samuel still missing time with that MCL and ankle sprain. For the keys for the Seahawks, you have two of them. They're one and three over their last four. They're going to get Kenneth Walker, the third back. But you're looking at him and Seattle's defense. Walk me through both of those keys. Well, first and foremost, it's great news for the Seattle Seahawks to get back running back Kenneth Walker III. Now, also, Kenneth Walker didn't have a 100-yard rushing game since November 6th. So he's really struggled at going into that ankle injury and coming back. That's a big, big issue in terms of being able to cut, having your speed, and finding the end zone. But any kind of run game will help. And then for the Seahawks, their defense, they have to create turnovers. They have been phenomenal, led by rookie Tariq Woolen. This guy's leading the NFL, or tied for the lead in the NFL for interceptions as a rookie. And they got another rookie corner that's really well. They got to create turnovers, really put some doubt, fear, and, and, kill, and knock down that confidence of Brock Purdy early and often. Good news for them. Their defensive line at home will be jumping off the count like crazy. Those are the two keys for the Seattle Seahawks. A lot of room for improvement for Seattle's defense. They're giving up 25.7 points per game. That's 30th in the NFL. So with all those things now out there on the table, what's your pick for tonight? I got the Seahawks winning 27-23. to 23. I think it's going to be a tight battle. 
but the injuries the 49ers have suffered, especially to Debo Samuel, that's going to really affect the play calling. And I've been on that field in Seattle. It is the loudest place in the world. My ears are ringing right now thinking about it. And to me, the Seahawks, they just have to stop turning the football over as well on offense. I think they get that figured out this week with the re return of Kenneth Walker III. Give me the Seahawks here, 27-23 over the 49ers. Seahawks spoiling it for the 49ers is what Ryan Harris says. He'll have the fancy uh, earmuffs on, so he doesn't have to worry about the noise out there anyway. So you're not fooling any of us. Thank you very much for tapping in with us, Ryan. Make sure you check out the All Things Covered podcast. They're talking about the Vikings coming off a loss this time. Check out B Mac and Patrick Peterson as they take a deep dive into that one. Like and subscribe. You know they're always good for a good note here or there. Check out their audio wherever you like. You want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.